This video is going to be my Khloe Kardashian makeup and this is my updated Khloe Kardashian look version 2016, you know? Khloe just looks absolutely visually stunning so I had to do another Khloe Kardashian look. I'll leave my old one below as well. So let's punch right into the look. But let's go from a mess share like this to this. Um, my hair has been drying this way so that's why it's gone crazy like this. It's just naturally that way. If I've washed it, it's early in noon and I want to get ready as efficiently as possible. So let's just, you know, let's do this with my hair like this. That is probably so distracting right now. Nivea Aftershave Balm. You know what, guys? This summer has just been really disappointing from the UK. I'm just not happy at all. My tan's all gone. It's annoying. I'm not brown anymore. I'm basically back to my winter colour. Which is so annoying. I'm gonna go for Chanel today. This is the Vital Lumia and this is in Shell. I've not used this foundation in such a long time to be honest. She's a little bit pale for me. Okay, I'm not as pale as I thought maybe. That blends super super well on the forehead because I don't like a lot of foundation there. Do you know what though, it might not be my skin tone, but it's really nice and dewy, which I really like. Chanel anything always smells so, so nice. I kind of look like Pepper from American Horror Story. <laughs> I actually love Pepper. I'm going to put on my Anastasia Dead Brow Pomade in medium brown. She a little bit dry, so I'm going to put some Tarte Maracuja oil into it, like legit one drop. And that one drop of the maracuja oil will legit revive the whole pomade and make, it'll make it creamy again. So I'm just swirling the oil into the pot and she all creamy. Standard, I'm gonna go in with my OCC Skin Conceal and if you look closely on my eyebrows, I haven't been shaping them to be honest these days, I've just been letting them grow out. Uh, so whenever I put my OCC Skin Conceal, I just put it where there's no actual hairs, just on the ends. Because on the rest of here, I've actually got a lot of hair. I'm just trying to grow it out and, you know, once I've grown it all out, then I can shape it to how I want my eyebrows to look. Since Chloe is blonde, I'm going to be using my brow this way in blonde. I'm just going to run that through the brows. It's not going to do too, too much, but it's going to lighten them slightly. I've reshuffled my Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. This has got a bunch of Makeup Geek. It's got a little bit of MAC and also Sarah Hill in actual collection in there, but it's mostly Makeup Geek. I'm first going to set my brow bone using Mirage eyeshadow, which is like a banana vanilla. Banana vanilla. To be fair, it's probably best to put my contacts in now because I'm looking at the mirror right there and it's blurry. It's quite close to me, but it's still blurry. I'm going to take my massive ass brush and take the colour in creme brulee and run that through the crease as a transition colour. This is massive, man. This is MUA in F11. This is actually a face brush. For them quick looks, you know, for them quick looks. I'm gonna take this deep brown, and this is called Americano. Such a nice deep brown. And I'm going to basically apply it on the lash line with a blending brush from Louise Young, and then sort of like wing it out like this. On the inner lid, I'm gonna take a satin shade. This one is called, this one is called Prosecco from Sarah Hill Cosmetics. <laughs> it's a satin shade, so I don't want anything too shimmery. And just apply that to the inner lid, blending that towards the dark brow, but not quite touching it. 
there's not one specific look that I'm basing this look off of. I'm just looking at a bunch of Chloe's Instagram pictures and basing it off of that. Some days she wears a liner, some days she doesn't. Today I'm going to wear a liner and I'm going to be using my MUA Matte Black Eyeliner. Right, Chloe's winged liner is very, very straight. It doesn't curve up into the wing. It's kind of like straight, like a very geometric kind of liner. Mm -hmm. I look really Asian with this sort of eye. Not that I never not look Asian, I always do, which I love. But it's giving me very, you know, Asian vibes. I'm taking a little bit more of the Americano and just lightly putting that on the lower lash line. Not too much, just because Chloe doesn't like to apply too much on the lower. But you know, just a tiny little bit. Um, for the mascara, I'm actually going ham with the mascara. I'm going for Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay. Sabrina from Love, Laugh and Makeup actually gifted this to me, and I love it. I'm going to apply that to the top and bottom. And then on the bottom lashes, I'm also going to be applying the Unique Mascaras, which is a five mascara, just because the Kardashians have really long eyelashes. You see how long these make my eyelashes look? My eyelashes are looking crazy. And then for the top lashes, I'm just going to be applying these mink lashes, which are ridiculously long, to be honest. So guys, for concealer, I'm going to be using my Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. This is in Light Neutral. A lot of people love this concealer, and to be honest, like I can see why it's so good. It's my, it's one of my holy grails, to be honest. I kind of like it better than the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Just because I think this is a little bit more blendable, you know? Does anyone else find that? You want to apply that to the apple of the cheek as well, to the ball of it. Just because Chloe's cheeks are much fuller than mine. Because I'm a man, you know? You know? You know. You dig. And then, because I look super pale right now, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze and Contour the Face. I want to cup my cheek like this, you know? I want to cup it because, as I said before, Chloe's cheeks are a lot fuller. So that's the way I'm contouring today. A little bit here on the forehead, the temple area. And then for the nose, I'm curving it from the eyebrow, and then protruding it out slightly, like that. I'm gonna do the bottom lip as well. And now it's just a case of buffing that in. To be honest, the best way to blend out a cream contour, in my opinion, is taking the foundation brush that you used before with the rest of the foundation that, you know, you blended it with, so don't clean it off. But don't apply any more foundation, sort of blending with that, so it kind of melts the two colours together. Look how full of my bottom lips look because of that contour. That is actually a little bit crazy. Okay, we're actually my skin tone now, you know? It's not <laughs> pale anymore, it's not so pale anymore. For the powders, I'm gonna be using my NYX contour kit. I'm gonna take Nectar right there and set all the highlighted areas. I need this because, to be honest, my under eye bags are suffering right now. Ever since I went to Scotland, so if you follow me on Snapchat then you'd know I went to Scotland for some charity work and we had to wake up early hours on the way there, on the way back whilst we were there. So that was, that took a toll on me because after that my sleeping pattern, like, it's not the same. It's just not. Although I am setting with the powders, I am definitely going to be setting my face with setting spray so that it doesn't look overly, overly matte, you know? I'm gonna bronze with tan and then I am going to contour with a sculpt. Guys, so 
before the blush, I'm going to be using my favourite makeup geek. I actually featured this in my unboxing vlogger mail video, so if you want to watch my unboxing of this, then there's going to be a link down below, but this is my favourite colour from the Makeup Geek blush line. And I'm just applying a little bit of this, it's so natural, that's why I like it. And I'm just brushing that onto the cheek, very very natural, as you can see it's very very just, you know, just natural. So what I'm going to do is spray some setting spray on my face and apply my Laura Gelder Gilded Honey. This is one of my favourite highlighters, it's so good. So I am using my Urban Decay All Nighter. And I'm applying my Laura Gala Gilded Honey with my F8 highlighter brush from MUA. And I'm applying that to the cheekbones, yeah? But you also kind of want to brush it back and forth on the ball of the cheek. Miss Thing also likes to apply a thin scrape of highlight onto the center of the nose. I'm just doing a little bit here. Going down, and then a little dot on the tip. And you also want to apply on the cupid's bow. For my lip pencil, I'm going to be applying Well Lip Pencil and drawing Chloe's lip shape. To be fair, on this lip look, Chloe doesn't seem to be wearing that much, you know, lipstick as per se. So what I'm going to do is apply my lip gloss from NYX, and this one I actually like. This is Fortune Cookie. I don't like a lot of glosses, but this one I really love. Right, before I forget, I'm just going to go in with my brow wiz from Anastasia and just draw her little mole on the right side of her cheek. Okay, let's take this off. Oh, she's a little bit crazy! This is just craziness. Let's, let's put my wig on. I'm going to curl my hair with my medium barrel new me curling wand. I'm going to curl towards my face and also outwards as well, so that it creates a lot of volume. And then the hair nearest to my face, I'm going to curl it outwards so that it frames the face. This hair has been so useful to me, I've used it for Kylie Jenner, straightened with extensions, when she was blonde. I've used this for Chloe before, with extensions as well. I've used this for Ciara. She's been... She'd been hella good to me. I'm just gonna spray it with some Got To Be Hairspray. So guys, this is the final look. Everything will be linked down below. The watch, the products will be listed, and the hair as well. To be fair, I want to do more celebrity looks, but I just don't know which looks to do. So if you guys can send me some pictures and some celebrity suggestions on Twitter, that would be amazing. And follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. I love you guys so much. Uh, if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be like my main goal if like you could like subscribe to the channel and if you already subscribed then tell other people to subscribe you know and i'll see you guys i love you bye